Okay guys, so we're going to start learning how to get user input into our programs and to get user input you have to use a thing called the keyboard class and there's all different ways to get user input into your into your programs using all other classes but the ones we're going to be using is the keyboard the one we're going to be using is to call the keyboard class so what I'm going to show you here is how to actually get the keyboard class on your computer so you can use it in your programs so if you want to go to your web browser um, just go to Google and just Google keyboard dot Java. Just Google keyboard dot Java, and the first link here, Villanova University Home Keyboard dot Java. I'm going to click on that. Now this is the keyboard dot Java program. This is the keyboard program. This is a program that somebody wrote so that we can use it in our programs to get user input. Don't worry about what is written in this program, it doesn't matter to us, we're just going to be using the, the class. So just highlight all of this, highlight the whole web page, the whole program, all the way down. When that's all highlighted, just copy it, we're right clicking, and go to, go to Textpad, and then just paste it into Textpad. So now we've got it in Textpad. Then it's going to go File, Save As, and go to your Documents and just save it in your documents as keyboard with a capital K keyboard dot java so keyboard dot java files so just save it as a key as keyboard dot java or you can just call it keyboard and then save as a java file so that's the same as keyboard same as saving it as keyboard.java while this is all while this is um, all files. So just keep it as keyboard.java and um, save it in there. And then we're gonna to go to tools and we're gonna compile this. So just compiled all this then. So that's compiled. And then when we go back to our our folder here, we have our keyboard.java file, and then when you compile it, it creates a keyboard dot class file now keyboard dot class file is the one we're going to be using to get in user input in our program so we can actually just exit the text pad and you can even you see the java one here we can delete the java just once we keep the keyboard dot class file and then just make sure with all your java programs make sure you also have the keyboard dot class file in the same folder see all my other Java programs here so you can just copy and paste it into any folder you want any program any Java programming folder you have and then you can use this in your program I'll show you in the next tutorial how to do that but just make sure it's in the same folder as your other you know Java programs alright so go ahead and get that for yourself 